Sandy says bird. I know, usually it's Sandy says read. Well, tonight we're doing both. I am going to talk about birds in the Hunter series for just a moment. In fact, we're going to talk specifically about the Thunderbird, the Thunderbird demon from the other side in Elite, specifically. Um, Elite is the second book in the Hunter series by Mercedes Lack. There is a, a demon or a spirit creature that comes from the other side into this world, and it is called the Thunderbird. There are several of these that make up a flock, and they are bad guys. They are our heroine in the story. Her name is Joy. She she bargains with these creatures to get them to stop attacking the humans. Okay, the Thunderbirds are arriving in this particular scene as, um, I guess they are the leading force of an army of bad guys that are coming in to attack the city. There are Thunderbirds that are coming in from the sky. There are ogres and trolls and goblins and all kinds of demons that are rushing toward the city. But the Thunderbirds are coming in from the sky and they can fire lightning from their eyes and do all kinds of just bad, horrible things to attack the city, attack the people. They've been told to do this by the bad guys. And our heroine, Joy, and her team of elite hunters are taking down these Thunderbirds. They know how to do it. They are literally freezing the wings of the Thunderbirds so that the Thunderbirds will fall from the sky and then they can kill them. They're doing this for self-preservation, okay? But Joy, our heroine, decides she's not going to kill them. And here's what she does. I stared into its eyes, still red, but no longer glowing. I've never had much to do with birds. That was Master Pepperberg's specialty. I didn't think I was misreading what I saw there, though. Behind the flattened feathers and staring eyes, it was terrified of me. Good. I wanted it terrified. This would only work if it was afraid of me. And the original plan of picking the Thunderbirds off one at a time while more mobs of monsters attacked us was not an optimal strategy. What I have done to you, I can do to every one of your flock, I said. The eyes flared fiery red for a moment, and then the light subsided again, leaving only the fear. And you know that. You know what we can do. But I think you have been misled, and I am willing to allow you to correct that mistake. Now I bowed a little to it, remembering what Master Hon Li had done so long ago. Of a courtesy, I think that you should abandon your allies, who did not warn you of this, and leave us in peace. This was what I was gambling on. After that encounter my uncle had described, the mountain had never again been troubled by thunderbirds. So Joy is recounting a story that she told us earlier in the book. A story of the Thunderbirds attacking them on the mountain and one of her master hunters approaching a Thunderbird who had been knocked down in the fight and appealing to that Thunderbird and saying, hey, we can take out every single one of you, but we're not gonna. As a courtesy, we're asking you to go away and never come back. And the Thunderbirds did. So Joy is applying that same courtesy and kindness to this Thunderbird. And it works. She says to this Thunderbird, hey, look, these bad guys are using you. They didn't warn you that we could pick every one of you off and kill every one of you. But we're gonna, unless you get up and leave now. So what's it gonna be? And the Thunderbird is like, got it. Finally, the great hooked beak opened and a strange metallic voice emerged from it. What surety do you give us that you will not pursue us? It said in perfectly good English. I nearly jumped, I was so startled. But I managed to cover my surprise by turning that into a shrug. Does it understand a shrug? <laughs> Never mind. Overhead, the other thunderbirds circled. Their attack on the pylon aborted as they stared down at us. 
this was what I had hoped for, that the Thunderbirds would remember or had heard of the encounter with Master Hon Lee and be willing to listen. They'd shown that they could be talked out of attacking once, so why not a second time? The surety that we have more than enough to deal with without pursuing you, I replied, forcing a laugh. Your allies have done you no favors. They lured you here with promises they could not keep, and they lied to you about our strength. Escape with your lives and stop your ears to them in the future. And that works, and the Thunderbirds go away, and they do not join the fight again. It's solved. And I think it is wonderful that Mercedes Lackey gave that level of intelligence and understanding and compassion and worth to the birds in the story. This was just a side note in the Elite book and in the whole Hunters series. Um, but I picked up on it and I thought it was intriguing. I thought it was interesting. I was pleased with the way Mercedes Lackey treated the Thunderbirds. I liked it. I thought that was good. Um, I do include reviews of actual bird-related books on my booktube channel. Um, and of course I put them in, in your flock parrot magazine. Uh, you can find those things. Um, I'll link them in the drop down box below. Give this a thumbs up because birds are great and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time that I update this channel with any kind of book review. Thanks so much guys.